Dozens of firefighters were called to a train fire in South Nashville this afternoon. Good evening and welcome to News 2 at 5. I'm Kenley Hargett. The NFD tells News 2 CSX has temporarily stopped tra nearby train traffic until hazardous materials can be cleared from the tracks. News 2's Nikki McGee is live with details. Nikki. Well, Kenley, just a few moments ago, we actually learned that this was all caused by a train derailment. As a result, roughly 2,000 gallons of diesel fell on the tracks here behind me. And just a few moments ago, these trucks right beside me pulled up to help clear some of that diesel off of the tracks to hopefully get traffic moving once again. Now, crews responded here to the scene this afternoon just before 2.30. And this is near Grandview and Melrose Avenue, right off Nolensville Pike. When they got to the scene, they learned that that train had derailed. And as it did, it punctured the underbelly of that locomotive, causing roughly 2,000s of gallons of diesel to spill. Subsequently, a fire broke out, but crews had to be careful in how they approached this fire, of course, trying to avoid water with any electrical charge. Public Information Officer Kendra Loney has more on that process involving the two lead locomotives on that train. The first locomotive was de-energized, but the second one still had energy running to it with the diesel fuel leaking out of the bottom. So we had to wait for CSX personnel to get on site so they could de-energize that second locomotive um, while our personnel were trying to contain the diesel fuel leak that was still happening. So it was a very kind of... Um, complicated process that was happening simultaneously a lot of moving pieces and parts which is why a lot of personnel were called to the scene Now, although this was a hazmat response with the diesel fuel spill, they tell me that no one from the area had to be evacuated. There was also a driver on one of these trains. However, they tell me that he was able to get off OK and there were no injuries reported. Reporting live in South Nashville, Nikki McGee at News 2.